Hey guys, and good morning. I'm awake here, and I want to dig into two stocks that you know I really think you should look at going into uh, this Monday, the 11th of January, because the closer we get to the Biden inauguration, we're going to see a huge shift even more in the stock market. And you, me, as an investor, we have to move with the times. If we want to see huge gains and we actually want to see our portfolios actually do something, we have to move with the times. So me as an investor, um, and the two stocks I'm going to be talking about are renewable energy stocks. And right now, renewable energy stocks are just going through the roof right now. EV companies are going through the roof right now. You know, cannabis stocks, medical stocks. But the sector that I really feel comfortable in and that I've had a lot of success in is renewable energy because we have not even really tapped into what this is going to be bringing in. The hydrogen fuel cell market has really, it's just taking off. I mean, I hate to even say it's just taking off because I don't feel like it's really been any, even tapped into and used. And a lot of these companies that you're seeing these crazy prices, you know, we use Tesla as a great example. You're paying almost a thousand dollars a share. Is Tesla worth a thousand dollars a share at this point in time? You know, is Tesla worth what the market cap is? What, you know, breaking that down you know going into a calculator and doing all that the right way absolutely it's not at this time but you're buying it for the future you're buying it to be a part of it and that's what you're having to do right now with a lot of stocks you're having to buy your way in there and honestly I, I, I'm pretty much a cheapskate when it comes to investing so I want to buy my way in there at the lowest rate so even talking about these two companies I'm gonna be talking about their stock is very cheap, but I have a feeling they're gonna jump and they're gonna be just ridiculous prices. You're gonna be going, why am I paying this much for this stock when this company's only bringing this much money? It's because it's where, you know, it's it's where us as a civilization is going. It's where, where we're going with our president. You know, and as an investor, we have to go with that. If we want to see huge gains, we have to go with that. So me as an investor, that that's the things that I see. These are the things, this is the trend that I see in investing in the world. You know, all of those things we have to look at. Sure, you can just invest in the Walmart and the Amazon and you'll have some nice gains here and there, but but those stocks, the juice has been squeezed from the lemon so much at this point, there's not a whole lot left. And they're kind of just boring. I, I'm not into investing in the boring stocks. I want to invest in the things that are just going to, you know, explode, just really, you know, uh, change my portfolio. You know, I have a I have a dream to retire, at least in my early 40s. I would love that. So that's why I'm always after the new hottest thing that's going to pop. So let's talk about these two stocks. So the first company I want to talk about is Jivo. So let's talk about the stock itself right now, you know, what it's been doing. So this stock has had some major up and downs, and the last time this stock was really up was when Obama was in office, which makes a lot of sense because Obama was for green energy, he was for renewable companies. And then we see some really low numbers. But the stock is coming back up to, the company's actually been bringing in really good numbers, you know. This, this, listen, this is not a huge company, this is like... <laughs> This is a very small company in the base of, you know, investing into a company. You know, they're not out of a van, but they do have facilities, but, you know, very small company still. This is nothing huge. So this would be something you're getting into really early. People are buying up every renewable energy stock. You know, there's so many people that they have thousands and thousands of dollars that they are able to put in the stock market every day. And they put it in all the sectors that are blowing up. Have people just pouring money into this and making the stock shoot up that don't even know what it is, don't even know the numbers, don't even know where it's going. But let's talk a little bit about it. Now the stock just in the past week has just shot up a, a ridiculous amount. I definitely think we're gonna see a little bit of pullback, maybe nothing crazy. Okay, so what this company does, you know, I'm gonna explain this the best I can, and listen, I'm not a chemist. I, if you really wanna know, this is a guy with like 30 college credits here, so you know, let's just, Bear with me here, okay? But what they're doing, they're in like rural areas in the United States, Colorado. They have farmers bringing in seed, things that they're feeding their animals that are high in nutrients, high in things that they can, you know, combust down. And what they're doing with this, they're turning this stuff into jet fuel. I'm, I'm not joking. They're, they turn it into jet fuel. They turn it into gasoline. They turn it into other things that 
a green fuel. Here's one of the key things that I liked about it as I dug in and I kept reading. Look at this. Delta Airlines agreed to purchase 10 million gallons per year. Per year, that means that they're gonna keep doing this. This isn't a one-time thing, this is per year. Of advanced renewable biofuels. So one of their customers is Delta Airlines. Now, if you go on their website, they've got other big people that they sell to, but you know, the airlines that, you know, that, that's really big and that's good. You know, I always like when I see other companies that I'm investing in, that they're working with other companies that are really well known. That, that's always a positive because I know Delta Airlines. I don't have to go, what is Delta Airlines? Delta Airlines is actually one of the biggest and healthiest airlines out there right now. But this company is doing well. They're actually being talked about a lot right now because their numbers have come out so good here lately. And it's definitely something you wanna dig into yourself and see what's going on here. Because this could be one of the stocks with the Biden transition coming into play here. This stock could really shoot up really fast. And I actually like this stock as a long-term play. Okay guys, the next company we're gonna talk about, company number two, EN Global. This is the kind of stock that I really like. I like their numbers, but they also have good publicity. And why is that important? It's important because a lot of companies don't have that. And I'm a firm believer, if you're in the stock market, you want to see companies and you will see companies move a lot just on publicity. So they do a lot of different things. Like I said, I, I don't have the vocabulary to explain what they do, but they're an oil and gas company. They make products that they send all around the world. This is a company that produces green energy fuel, clean fuel, low emissions burning fuel. EN Global's modular hydrogen plant is an integral component of a renewable diesel factory with an expected maximum production of 10,000 barrels per day. And like I said, if you go to their website, they have so much information on what they do, the different things they produce, they, they, they build things, they send them to companies that they've got their hands in a little bit of everything here. But this is a green company. This is a green company that's getting a lot of attention right now. A lot of people are talking about them, so this is why I wanna bring it up to you. So guys, these are my two stocks that I'm looking at right now that I'm, I, I have been investing in a little bit and I'm gonna to continue to do more. I'm just kinda of watching what's going on right now. I might even make another video about these two stocks separate where I can go more into detail, but I'm, I'm really trying to keep this video short. You know I don't like making long videos because I think people probably already tuned out at this point. But check these companies out. I'm not trying to blow smoke up anybody's butt. Just look at these companies. This could be something that can really change your portfolio here. But guys, I hope you have a great day wherever this video finds you. I really mean that. And remember, be positive, be you. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you guys. Bye.